What's up and welcome to episode six of the Q podcast featuring very special guests. And I'm going to try and get this right again. Uh, you got it. Kalaheya. Yep. Of Destination Thrills. There we go. You got it. Um, yes. But before we get a chance to get to know you a little bit more. Just going to tell you the premise of the show is as if we are in a hypothetical queue line waiting to ride your favorite attraction. And while we wait, we have a simple conversation as friends. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cool. With that being said, what is your favorite ride? So strap in because we are going to go to Holiday World and we are going to ride The Voyage, the best coaster that I've ever ridden. Hands I, like, I like that and approve. And also, I'm going to give you a round of applause because... I think you're the fastest person to answer that. <laughs> Which like, surprises me. I feel like everyone knows what their favorite coaster is. They don't know how to answer it. Yeah. So, no. Shout out to everybody who's been a guest so far. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, cool. The yes. voyage. Very yes. solid. Very and solid. Preferably, preferably we're doing this at night I with no trims yes. at Hollywood yeah. Nights. I had a long conversation with Airtime Mike about right. this. Um, and he said... I think he said that's his number one coaster because of that. Yep. And I haven't experienced that yet. Oh, really? Uh, I haven't. Uh -huh. And I was going to, what, August they had? Mm -hmm. the event? Uh, but it just didn't add up. I, I guess I wasn't comfortable with traveling like that through yeah. flying. I could have driven, but no, nah, I don't know. But yeah, I want to experience it. So, yeah, it, it, it is it is worth the experience. You know, I've done like Steel Vengeance, and I still think that the voyage at night with the trims off, even with the trims on, the night ride is it's something else. And it the, the track work that they've been doing on it, it just seems to yeah. get better like every year. So I was sad that I got to miss out on it this year because I heard it was even better than last year. And I thought last year was like the tipping point. Like it couldn't get any more insane. And okay. people were saying like, oh, it was better than last year. I was like, I don't know if I want to experience that. That might be too scary. <laughs> no, I, I need that in my life. Yeah. I need to experience it. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll just say next year, yeah. which I'm gonna say next year with everything, because this year I don't know about you. I had so many trip plans. Wow. I had so many. I even have tons of flight credits because of canceled flight. <laughs> and other things, like a lot of enthusiasts have. It's yes. weird. Um, but I had plans to do so many trips and. What did I, I just ended up, I think, just sticking to the South where I live yeah. and um, that's it. And I didn't get to do anything else. But the cool thing is, which uh, upon time of recording today, uh, Six Flags Great America announced that they're going to have um, like a, not a holiday in the park, but right. like kind of like the Hallow Fest of Fright Fest, but of, uh, it's weird. Like it's. Yeah. Christmas light, something exactly. Like. They're they're trying something. It's 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 good I to see. It. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see. It's it's exciting to see that some of these parks that have been shut down for so long. Because Great America is actually one of my favorite places to go. And oh, so now, yeah. oh, I know it's so a lot. Some people like dog on it, but I'm like, I you know, I get it. Not, uh, you know, there. I mean, there's just people out there that, of course, they're Cedar Fair fanboys. Oh. You know, ever ever Cedar Fair everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, especially like living in St. Louis, and I don't know if you take advantage of the deal too, but like you cannot beat forty nine dollar, you know, four ninety nine pass. Yeah. You know, if you get it at the right time. Yeah. And right. and then go to Six Flags, like I buy here at Six Flags St. Louis, and I get to use it at Six Flags Great America four hour <laughs> drive. It's the best yeah. deal. Okay. Deal. Yeah. Um, so, uh, St. Louis is your home park, then. Yeah. So that closer to you, I guess, than um, Silver Dollar City, since um, you're, right you're saying Great America. Oh, uh, no, uh, St. Louis. Uh, si oh. uh, Six Flags St. Louis. Yeah, Six Flags St. Louis. Yeah, Six Flags St. Louis is about 30 minutes away from me, and Silver Dollar City is about a four hour drive. Okay. So, four hours to Great America and then four hours to Silver Dollar City. You're in a pretty good situation. Oh, I, I love it. You know, St. Louis is one of those things where I'm like, I've thought about, oh, maybe I should move. And I'm like, mm, like, it's a pretty good spot. You got World of Fun is also yeah. like three hours. And then Holiday World is three hours. Yeah, for me, it's like, uh, what is it? Dollywood is about four. Okay. Um, Alabama Splash Adventure is like two. Okay. Um, Carowinds, like three and a half. Uh, 30 minutes for over Georgia, Six Flags uh, over Georgia. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Florida, the Florida stuff is like six hours. Oh, that's um, not bad at all. No, not at all. No. So I think that's it around me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, I always think Georgia is a, a good spot too. It's funny. One of the videos I did was like a top 10 States. And like one of the States I consider was Georgia because I was like, you know, you have all that right around you, especially like heroin. That's a good park to have three hours away, you know, yeah. like, I'm I, happy to, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm I went last happy. year for opening day and it was one of my favorite parks and I was going to go this year, but obviously they were like, right. yeah, we're not going to open. Forget you guys. Yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> Um, right. I wish they, uh, I was talking to, uh, road trip Dave, who I had on here, which that's his part is, um, Carowinds. Um, and he said he would choose Carowinds over Disney, which he's a big Disney enthusiast, wow. which is awesome. So am I. Yeah. He was saying at least he wished that Winterfest would be open up over there because it's so spectacular. I'm like, I haven't been all I went was for opening day. And that was it. It was still a nice day. They need cleaner bathrooms. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. That's what someone needs to do is like a bathroom review. Like, who's got the best bathrooms? Would people watch that? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Unless, like, I think you would have you would have to throw tons of Disney in there because they really oh, theme yeah. their bathrooms. But other than that, really? I, oh, they're big time themed. Like every they don't miss anything. Really, like, everything is. I've, just I've never been to Disney, so that's you that's one. Been to Disney? Never been to Disney. I've never been to Universal. Never been to any of those parks. Yeah, you're talking to like when I go to Disney is going to be the first time. It's going to be a video, like my reaction the first time Disney. Well, we're done here. The shortest podcast <laughs> in the history. Wow. <laughs> Talk about that. You don't know anything Disney? That's. I mean, I guess that makes sense, and um, that's a really cool thing. That I guess it can have me segue in this conversation to obviously you've been to Six Flags. It's 30 minutes away from you. That's what their old advertisement, which everybody, if you guys don't know, on my channel, I put out an old commercials thing from like the 90s and early 2000s. But in the 90s, they used to have the whole saying, um, a world of fun, not a world away. That was their whole yeah. slogan. Because always a Six Flags park would always be closer to people just in the country rather than having to travel uh to disneyland out west or um right. to the south for disney world it's in cheaper and closer so wow so you're yep. you're living proof of that that's cool yeah <laughs> that's kind of like a thing it's like we never did a lot of traveling like when i was younger so yeah like my childhood we did like six Flags st louis was it like that yeah. was the main thing i didn't even go to silver dollar my first trip to our city was actually in 2016 that was wow. my first time. And we've lived four hours away from Silver Dollar City my, like, entire, you know, for most of my life. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I never really, you know, and it's one of those things, like, I, I think a lot of, um, you know, people, um, like, can relate to is, like, sometimes, you know, you, you don't grow up in a situation where you, like, have a lot of money and you can do all these extravagant trips. So that's yeah. where, like, these Six Flags parks, actually, that's where they win because yeah. they allow for people who maybe can't afford those bigger trips to at yeah, least sure. have some kind of thrills and stuff. And so that's kind of the thrills that I got to enjoy when I was little. Now I'm lucky oh, I'm spot now yeah. after college, you know, where I can do some traveling and I've got some, you know, some, some yeah. adventures to go on now, but yeah, like it, I, I really appreciate that about the six flags is like, they get, they, they provide you that theme park atmosphere for a cheaper price. And like you said, closer to home. Yes. Uh, I agree with that. And I guess, I was opposite. I grew up in Daytona Beach, Florida, where uh, 45 minutes or so from Universal and Disney. Oh, so awesome. that's my experience. And I envy. Then, I envy. <laughs> but I would um, travel to Atlanta to uh, visit family. Um, and we would go to Six Flags Over Georgia in the 90s and or so. And I loved it. And everybody oh, has yeah. great memories of like, let's say, early 2000s and before. I'm not saying or dissing Six Flags now. Right. But, um, you know, a lot of things have changed since the bankruptcy. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Yep. <laughs> uh, they're regaining now. Yeah. Um, but just th but before then, it was really good. So I had the big parks and I had the Six Flags. Then I got spoiled with um, the likes of Universal and all that stuff. And then I went, uh, wow, I don't think I went to a Six Flags park. I don't think anybody knows this. Uh, from, yes, let's say, the early 2000s. <laughs> Let's just say 2000. Let's just round it to 2000. To 2015, I didn't go to a Six Flags park. Oh, wow. 2015. And then I didn't go again till 2018. So 15 and 18. And then I went twice in 2018. Then I went a lot in 2019 where I started the channel. So, yeah. Wow. 
it's it's weird. So, but now I appreciate it so much. And the biggest thing I'm known for is Six Flags, and I'm like, I don't want you guys to typecast me because I make other great content, which people are starting to gravitate to more. But like, people love Six Flags because again, like we're saying. There's always a Six Flags part closer to people, so people can relate more to. We know Disney has a huge fan base. Yeah, that is facts. Um, but also Six Six Flags, people love and Cedar Fair. People yeah, people love those two that aren't Disney or Universal. So yeah, and that's kind of like it also. What's nice is like you're in a niche that like you know Disney. There's so many Disney vloggers. There's so many Disney YouTubers. There's so many Universal YouTubers. But like Six Flags Over Georgia, like me personally now, I'm sure there's others out there, and I apologize no, there if there are. is others. But but like you know, you're kind of like kind of how I know you from is like oh he's you he specializes in that Six Flags Over Georgia ca- content. So when I want to see Six Flags Over Georgia videos, I know hey I can go to Miguel, and that's kind of like what I've capitalized on is like the Silver Dollar City market. You know, there's a lot of people that do Silver Dollar City, but it's not the vast majority of people. Like I mean. There's so many Disney YouTubers. And so it's nice to break into that niche, you know. So many, which is weird. Um, when I started the channel, that's what I tackled first. I tackled going to opening day at Disney. Stuff. My actually my first vlog was um uh Carowinds, the opening day oh. of Copyright Strike. Uh, which I, again, I've told this multiple times on the queue, uh, but I'll say it again. I try to um make my channel like in the loop. Yeah. Uh, and how the legend will not show himself, but he'll just do a tour around. That's what I did at theme parks. And I was like, oh, I enjoyed it. So let me, it's the easiest thing to do for me. And I, I don't know yeah. how I will um, be in front of the camera and do all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I tackled Disney at first. And then, I don't know. I just started going closer to home. I'm like, I have the park down the street. I can't travel every week into Disney. Right. Uh, and plus, that's expensive. I don't have an annual pass, even though Miguel the annual, which is funny. Yeah. People think I have an annual pass. For <laughs> I mean, it's in the name, you know. I can't. <laughs> Miguel, the somewhat annual pass right, holder. Right. I have some seasonal passes and some He's um, occasional, I, occasional pass holder. Right? I'll just say, as of now, guys, I only have Dollywood and Six Flags. That's all I have right now. <laughs> Leave it there. Oh, and I was gonna have uh, all Cedar Fair ones if they opened up more parks this year, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're spend the money right now, so yeah, yeah. Well, what's nice oh, with them is they they allowed. Um, yeah. at, so this year was my first year actually buying a Cedar Fair pass, and then of course all this happened, and I was like, no. But then they extended it to next year, so I was like, actually, not a bad investment because I still went to Kings Island and Worlds of yeah. Fun, so I'm like, but at least you went. I I I right. was going to go. And meet up with Coaster Daddy. Uh, the same day he went, I was going to go that same day. And we talked about that uh, when he went to ride uh, Orion. And um, But I decided <laughs> I couldn't get a reservation in time. There were four spots oh. left. I was like, let me go get something to eat and come back. Nobody's going to get these four spots. Came back. Oh. It was oh. <laughs> and uh, it was going to be like the pass holder preview or something like that i was going to get the oh. membership preview or uh the season pass and then i was going to get out there uh for that event and then i was just like no i'm not going to go there with the gp yeah no. that, that was i heard the pass holder event and then the first day was wild though like the weights for that yeah. ride and he did four hours or so Ooh. but but i gotta ask done, like what three podcasts in the amount of time yeah, <laughs> And I have to ask because two things you've already mentioned have become a norm of what people ask me. And I got to ask you back. Yeah. What is your longest wait? Ooh, okay. Longest wait I think was had to be um, time traveler. Oh, two. It, there's two of them. So the first time I ever went to Cedar Point, I actually waited about two and a half hours to get on Steel Vengeance. I and destroy you all in my way. I know. And I know. I- that, that was my longest wait, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're like that's a normal weight whatever but um you know and i don't i don't get like fast i typically don't get fast lanes anywhere but All yeah the places i get the express pass at uh universal that's it yeah. yeah yeah and that that's probably one that if i spend the money to go out to universal you best believe i'm getting a pass yeah <laughs> you do everything in a day at both parks yeah if you get this yeah okay yeah, and see that—that's what I would do. It was like the Cedar Point. I—I I think I one time I do want to get like a fast lane just to like do it because I, you know I was still able to do a lot there. But I think um, 
it would be nice to see like a fast lane to see how much more I could I could get done. But and the other one, the week, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It, it depends on the day of the week and stuff. So yeah. if it's a Saturday or if it's summertime, eh, I don't know. It could be yeah. difficult. So you might want to invest in that. But yeah. what's your your second other longest? So the, to tie, and I think this was like. I want to say it was around two and a half hours, maybe even longer was um, time traveler. I went the first day it opened and right. um, really? oh, that was, I was so, so hyped for it. But you know, what's so <laughs> funny. It's like sometimes when you are so hyped and you wait that long, yeah. then you get on the ride. And if it's just like a little bit short, it, it yeah. can sometimes oh, be like, yeah. Oh, what happened? So like my first ride on time travel, I was actually a little bit like, okay, like, <laughs> all right. But then I'll, obviously after writing it a bunch of times now, I'm like, Oh my God, this thing is, yeah. is, is awesome but okay. yeah, yeah yeah that's probably my well, two longest as you guys know out there listening to the queue and <laughs> know me and then also getting to know your subscribers yeah. 13 hours 11 minutes was my longest i know <laughs> yeah i just gotta put that out there every time every q podcast episode i just i guess i have to say it. 13 <laughs> hours 11 minutes for hagrid's uh, it wasn't I, worth it I, I to me it was and it was a night ride too so that that coaster is really beautiful at night because um the forest really comes alive and um, the lanterns and the motorbike uh, has the headlights to it. It's oh, beautiful. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Um, by the way, what's his name? Uh, El Toro Ryan did a video, pro- a problematic coaster on that. That thing's killing it, man. It's like 270,000 views. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. But it, yeah. it does a those videos thing. are those videos are very like he picked a smart like niche to get into because not everybody people, can do that. Yeah. And he's got such good insight and he does them so well. Like bravo to him, man. Those those videos are interesting. And I'm not even interested in that kind of stuff. Like as far as like how coaster works, and it's not something that I'm like, oh, okay. But like I can actually get interested. He makes them so interesting that someone like me who doesn't really care about it right. actually gets interested. So he does, and then the plain fact that you know so much. To make it that's that's shout I've, out to I've like gained knowledge from yeah. watching those videos. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which you wouldn't expect if you watch like the coaster idiot stuff. Yes. But <laughs> but he's like I, he's he's genius. very smart. He's a genius. But genius, then genius. the whole coaster idiots thing, I love I don't know, oh, it's crazy. That's so, how I found him. It's 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 so funny. Here. I found him at like 900 subs, and what really got wow. me was when he him and um Logan were yeah. doing their trips to they were working at Cedar Point while living in New Jersey. And I was yes. like, the, the, these guys deserve subs just for that. <laughs> just weird. Like I remember finding out about that. I'm like, how did that work? Oh, yeah. I was interested. I was sold. I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. But um you mentioned something a while back about how you found my channel. Uh do you remember what video that was? I actually was watching it's so funny. So like I watched one of your podcasts. So we actually connected Mm-hmm. on Instagram. But before that, I had seen one of, and I forget which video it was, but it was something to do with Six Flags Over Jordan. I was like, oh, this is like a really good content creator. And then I started watching a couple more videos. Um, and then like some time went by and then we connected over Instagram. Yes. And so then that's when you told me about your podcast. I was like, oh, I got to check this out now. So I checked out your podcast. And actually what's funny is your podcast video linked me to your other channel, which is uh, your podcast on sports. Yes, Third String Podcast, yes. And I was like, oh, I got, and then you, I forgot what, I think you guys were talking about like the beginning of um, the NBA playoffs. And so that's yeah. what I could have gone like, oh, no way. So yeah, yeah. I kind of got um, into that a little bit. I was like, oh, these are cool. <laughs> so yeah, I actually it's, watched it's, probably more of those podcasts on the coaster ones. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, it's weird. A lot of people uh, in this realm don't know I have that. Yeah. Um, and it's weird. I, I do gaming. I yeah. have a gaming channel. It's all on the side of my YouTube, if anybody yeah. wants to search. But uh, podcasts are interesting to the sense that I've gained better knowledge on video format, so YouTube. But doing podcasts is a whole nother beast in its own thing because you're getting people to listen for, like I said, an hour or so and trying to keep their attention. And I remember... So I have, obviously, it's two of us in that podcast. So we just talk about what's going on in sports. Yep. I love it. Um, so everybody check out Third String Podcast on SoundCloud and on YouTube, just saying. Uh, <laughs> but do, doing this one right here, the Q Podcast, was uh, nerve-wracking. I remember I kept messing up with uh, Coaster Daddy at the beginning, oh. him being my first guest. And there's so much editing that makes it look good. But behind the scenes, no, nah, it wasn't pretty. Because I'm by myself. And I'm interviewing or having a conversation in the queue with people who I like their, their content. So 
it's always interesting when I find out you guys watch me or that's why yeah. I said it's a recurring thing um, that I, uh, I guess I'll ask from uh, here on out. Like, how did you find, uh, how did we find each other? So to yeah. speak. And he found me same thing. Nobody ever remembers, but it's some six flags yeah. over Georgia video. And then um, with you, it was, and I'm so jealous still. It was, uh, what was it? Mystic. Uh, is it oh, Mystic, Mystic River Falls. Falls? Mystic River Falls. Yes, yes. I, I've been following that since its um announcement, just like yeah. you. Yes. And I was going to make it out there. I guess I just watched you instead. <laughs> uh, I, don't know. I was like, um, <laughs> yeah. But you followed the construction of that for a long time, from yes. the whole beginning, and then you got to do it, uh, and you wrote it by yourself. Yeah. How was that experience? Oh my gosh. So first off, like that kind of was the big like push for my channel. So mm -hmm. like I had been doing YouTube videos, but I kind of was just throwing up a video whenever I felt like it. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, I feel like me, you know, making a video today. And mm -hmm. then I remember hearing like the March of, of that year, which I guess would have been, gosh, 2019 already. Time flies. But, yeah. um, you know, I just remember them or reading stuff online, like, hey, they're actually taking out Lost River. And I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. Yeah. I was like, this is what I, where I can really just start doing content. Mm -hmm. And so I remember driving all the way there for my for the first day and getting yeah. that video and then putting that together. And that was like my first video that kind of took off over time. I've had yeah. like prediction videos that like had a spike and then, you mm -hmm. know, nobody watches after that. But this was one that people were like looking. And I was like, okay, this is the start of something. Yeah. And so then I, and I was genuinely interested in it in general because I was like, could it be a coaster? Maybe it's a coaster, but more likely it's a river raft ride. But it's still, it was unknown, you know, especially right, right in the beginning. So um, just going down there and covering that. But then like riding a ride that you followed kind of from the beginning and that I you saw the vlog coverage of it. Yeah. And, the, and then just kind of like hustled to get, because people yeah. don't know this, but like I would go, I would pick a Saturday. Yeah. I would drive down by myself four hours that morning, get there, film the construction update maybe get on one ride and then drive back home that evening and make the video. People and, don't know the struggles, man. Yeah. And you know, it's, know. it was totally worth it, but there were times like during the drive, I'm like, like, what am Is I doing? Worth it? I remember like, you like it. asked yourself that, or you, you mentioned that in that yeah. video, in that vlog that you would question uh, yeah. that with yourself, like, is this worth it? Like, uh, and then the videos start doing well. And you mentioned that you started falling in love with like the whole YouTube thing and the community has really embraced yes. you. And, yes. and now you take it more serious and Absolutely. it's awesome. And, and to me, I feel like your big push that I was looking at was, uh, I think it was like your Dollywood's next coaster. And that was, and I have the date. Oh, it gosh. was on December 9th, 2019 Dollywood's next coaster. I feel like that one right there. And everything since then till now has had no less than a thousand. So you're it, you're just like you don't look anything under a thousand. Yeah. You don't wake up for. You're just like yeah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so since that video has been, <laughs> what happened? I, so like, I think what, that's you bad on that your video. Stride, <laughs> your stride has been like amazing with the success of you know. Obviously, there are people bigger, and which you're, by the way, you're almost at. 5,000. I know. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe it, honestly. I'm almost at 2,000. I gotta get there. <laughs> hey, yeah. it, it gets there, man. You One day, it's, it's just weird how it spikes and peaks. Like, yeah. at the beginning of this year, like you were saying with the Dollywood video, um, like, when I was doing the next coaster video, I was, like, at 600 subs. Wow. And I remember the video I did after that was the Cedar Point next coaster. Yes. And... and yeah. what 57,000 views and that was the first video that i've seen take off the way it did and, and when i first released it 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 wasn't really like taking off but i when i was putting the next coaster series together i had actually came up with the idea probably in august but i was like i want to wait until after iapa because i feel like iapa is always for something groundbreaking or something news and i don't yeah. want to put out a video and then iapa yeah. comes out and be like oh by the way this you know this part's gonna get this and then like right. a month you know after doing it so i said okay i'll be patient i'll wait till iapa but i was sitting on that idea and i was like this is gonna be a good yeah. and it was something that i was just like very interested i always want to know what the next coaster is gonna be that's true and yeah. so when i did the one for i wanted to do dolly what is like a test one i always yeah. like to choose a part that i know isn't as popular like cedar point you're you're the cream of the crop you know that's that true. that's gonna get attention that's true um 
so I wanted to do something that kind of like tested the waters. And then when I saw it kind of do well, I was like, okay, yeah. let's, let's do the theater point one. And that kind of went out there and didn't, didn't do, but I just remember waking up one day and all of a sudden I looked and it was like, whoa, why? I just got like a thousand views in a day from that. And that that's something I've never had seen yeah, yeah, like yeah. from one video. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then it just kept going, going, going. And then it just was like a wave. And all yeah. of a sudden I went past a thousand subscribers, went almost all the way up to two yeah. and just videos, every video after that just did well. And it was yeah, it's just crazy sure. how it happens. Like yeah. I've been grinding for two, like a year and a half yeah. before that. And it was just this one video just, It's funny. Um, Coaster Daddy had great videos, but like his big push was uh, the next Coaster Removal uh, series he had the Six Flags one, but really that Cedar Fair one really went off. So it's yep. similar to yours, like yep. the next coaster, the next thing to be removed for him. And then you guys just like boom. Um, so guys, my next video coming up is going to be something about Cedar Fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, check it out. Yeah, it's, you know, and it, you got to strategize like that though, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's kind of something that you know you kind of learn as you're doing it. But like mm -hmm. I did one of my first videos to ever hit ten thousand actually was me. Um, speculating that Cedar Point wasn't going to get a coaster in 2020. Yeah. And that was my first video to really kind of like steadily get to 10,000. And so yeah. that was my key, like, okay, there's an interest in Cedar Point, um, which yeah. we all know. We, all, yeah. <laughs> we just have to do a video to know that. But just to sure. see it like translate into viewers, like, okay, there's, there's people want to see this. And yeah. so it's like, okay, well, what are some cool things you can do with Cedar Point that people will be interested in? And I'm interested in Cedar Point. Like, mm -hmm. we all know Cedar Point's next coaster likely is going to be something good, you know, unless yeah. they do a kitty ride. But you know that they're always looking. Yeah. 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 So yeah. they're looking to, you know, beat out the likes of uh, Magic themselves. Mountain. Yeah, and Magic Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very true. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I've I've seen your growth, and we were we were talking about how we met, yeah, and uh, how we found each other, and then how we connected on um, Instagram, which is funny. I just wanted to tell the story because we were in that uh, realm of talking about that. Yeah, you had your mic like on the bed, a picture of it on like your IG story, yes. and you like mentioned like I don't know like a messing up the voice recordings. And I was like, <laughs> I responded to that. And I was like, man, I trust me. I understand the struggle. And you were like, oh, you you said something to me like, oh, but your sound's so great and all that stuff. And I'm, first of all, I was like, excuse me. He watched my content. I, that's amazing. I didn't know. I was taken back by that. Oh, and then man. we just connected since then. Yeah. And uh, we talked about the struggles of it. And it's true. It's yeah. true. Um, yes. Oh. I will sit here just like how we're recording this and I will go over it over and over and over. I'm, I, I don't like how I deliver that. The ending that needs to be said in a different way. I need to add a question mark to it at the end. I, I, I don't like it. Uh, let me move back a little bit. Let me move. Yes. I, I, don't know. Oh, I so. mean, it's, it's one of those things and like people don't know this, but like, or I, I mean, people might know this, but it's like, when I'm doing a voice recording, yeah. the not only is it the amount of times you have to like redo something, but yes. then you have like you finally nail it. Yes. And man, I mean you're you're on a roll and then you have a, like a mouth click or some kind of noise yeah. that happens or and or you stutter a word and you're like, do I have to redo the take? And then it's like I've I've actually gotten better, like practice yeah. makes perfect. Yes. I've gotten better to fix a lot in editing, but before I used to have to like I get, I'd be in post and I'd be like doing it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there is a mouth click that I didn't hear. Yeah, I have to yeah. redo half of this, and so yeah, yeah, it's it it can be a headache. <laughs> it, for me, it's been weird since like the whole pandemic and the uh, the whole quarantine thing was. So many people here in Atlanta have started street racing. <laughs> in general, the Fast and oh, the Furious is happening crazy. in Atlanta heavily. <laughs> So I'll be recording. I'll be on a roll. It'll be the best video ever recorded. And then you'll just hear, Nyum! and I'm like, okay. So everybody got unemployment or a stimulus check, and then they just got a muscle car. And that's what that's what happened. And then they just ruined my content. But, yeah, I have that issue. You know what? Just, just start putting roller coaster video, like, just clips of, like, top throw drags are, like, taking off every time that happens. Problem solved. So I'm in the middle of <laughs> So, so I'm talking about like <laughs> food review of Six Flags Over Georgia, and I've talked. <laughs> yeah, guys, I can't help it. Yeah, just put like a just put like a picture of food on the screen, and then top throw drags. They're just making a transition. You know. That's all. 
Yeah. <laughs> I like the yeah. idea. We need we need to make that yeah. happen. <laughs> if I ever see that on a video, I'm gonna comment and be like, remember who came up with that <laughs> idea? <laughs> I will shout you out for sure. Yes. <laughs> but you're um, so right, like they're just like that's another thing, and it's funny, like you can't control like there's sometimes I'm like, okay, I have this hour. And, and, and we talked about this too, like this is our side gig. So we're yeah. squeezing this into the hours of time that we have. Yeah. Yeah. And so you'll find that perfect hour window. I'm like, okay, I'm going to knock out a voice recording. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, the neighbor starts his lawnmower and you're like, yeah. oh no. <laughs> can't like do you, that. you need like a bunker where yes. it's like soundproof. And it's just perfect. I, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to move out to the wilderness, get a house, yeah. make a soundproof thing. And, and there will know. be a woodpecker. Yeah. And then <laughs> right. there will be... <laughs> Right. You can't you can't defeat it. I don't yeah. know. I don't yeah. know. But, uh, but it was um, just funny. It was funny that when you commented on that, because yeah. it was just like it was nice to be like, okay, somebody understands the struggle. Because sometimes when you're doing it, like when I first did, I was like, Am I the only one that just is the best I I at voiceovers? Yeah. Like I, I mm -hmm. felt like yeah, and sometimes I'm like, I'm, I must be really bad because it's taking me way too long to do this. And then it's <laughs> it sucks because then you're like you do this for fun, but yeah. then you're 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 trying to make it so perfect because you know, mm. audio is a big thing. You know, oh, you, you, when your audio is bad on video, it can really take it down. So there's a lot of pressure yeah. to make it good. Mm -hmm. And so, but then sometimes it's just like, you're like, okay, remember why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want to have fun. Like I yeah. enjoy making these videos. That's sometimes true. I have to be like, all right, relax. Like yeah. you're doing this because you love it. You know, don't make this <laughs> something you hate or otherwise, right. why are you doing it? You know? Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, do you ever get anxiety before or uh, you start recording? I know no. it's just you and your mic. Yeah, but you know, I'll, I'll say for me, I don't know. I guess it's like people are going to be hearing this. So I'm like right here. So for those listening on audio, I'm facing my microphone right now. <laughs> um, and I'll start and I'll be like, <clears throat> so back in the day at Six Flags, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't like the way I said that. Yeah. Uh, um, but then I just calmed down. I'm like, look, this is fun. Like I'm doing something that I love and. Uh, the video is going to come out great. Plus my big thing that I love, or I don't really, I love it, but if I don't have to utilize it is my editing. Editing is my strong suit and I'll save it. So let me just keep saying the same line over and I'll find in post uh, production, I'll find the best one version that I like and I'll use that and I'll patch it and all that yep. stuff. So yeah. 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 That's one thing. Like if you can, it's really made me like help develop my editing skills, which is mm -hmm. what I like because, like one thing I'd like to get better at is the voiceover and I actually, yeah. you know, I'm better at that. But what's nice is like, I've had to really learn tricks in editing to make yeah. it more efficient. And also it's like, true. It, you, what people don't know is like some of the little tricks you do in the background that you, people will never know. But like, sometimes yep. I'll take words from another sentence that was way over here. And if I can fit it in, I do and that make too. It flow, I'm like, perfect. We'll never know. Uh, <laughs> now, I put, up a, do, <laughs> I put up a video on my Patreon um of how i edit my videos because people are really intrigued of yeah. how i edit um so i put that up there and it's crazy how i explain it's like a six minute video and it takes 30 minutes to explain everything that's going on because there's so many lines and cuts yeah um that for example like i'll record for i've recorded multiple things before where i've had an hour and a half to two hours of recordings and it was a six minute video yeah and i'm like come on like oh uh, we were talking offline about my uh z force and ninja video at six flags over georgia that one took forever long because of the research and how long because people don't understand we'll record the whole voiceover but to find the clips and all that stuff it might yeah. be two seconds and you got to find something to fill in the time to match oh, the audio and it's absolutely. like very tedious and and especially when you don't have your own b-roll so then you're no. like looking <laughs> online and then you have to download True. those videos and then you have to put it on then you have to cut it and then like especially like sometimes you get i gotta credit remember and all that oh, stuff yeah get the credit but also sometimes like you i have to remember not to be so nitpicky because sometimes i'm like mm -hmm. okay now i want it to flow so how am mm -hmm. i gonna find the right clip here and that that adds an extra sometimes 15 minutes and sometimes i'm like okay i don't have time to yeah. do Let's just patch it in there, you know. But sometimes it's sometimes I get caught up in being like, okay, I need this to flow in here and this yeah. to flow in here. And it's it's great when you have the time to do it. I, I have to credit OK Coasters. I'm, I'm sure you know. Yes. I mean, the and I what I like what he's doing is he's not like, okay, I'm gonna put out a video every week, which is yeah. beneficial, but he's like, I'm gonna really take my time and put the video. The last video he did on Cedar Point, I was just like, mm -hmm. that's like 
That is so high quality. Like you, you're dude, talking you about quality, do, man. It's like, you need to not be on YouTube. You need to get like your own company. Like you yeah. could be on Netflix. Yeah. Like when, yeah. when you get yeah. your deal. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so so what is your process? Like I asked, I believe yeah. a few people here in the queue. Um, I've asked, like, what is your process as a creator uh to make a video? Like, what's your your original step to obviously the video goes out like what is your process of making content for you it's it's really random a lot of times like i'll just get an idea that'll okay. come to me. and you know sometimes i like to plan my content out like a month ahead and i'll make a mm -hmm. content calendar and i always wreck it you know <laughs> i do the same but i don't follow it i never I follow, it. follow it but yeah. i don't yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, okay, this is what this month is going to look like. And then yeah. I'll look back. I'm like, I didn't do any of that. But sometimes yeah. you get an idea or something happens in the community. And then it's and like, exactly. I get inspired, yeah. you know? And then once yeah. I get inspired, then I go and I just try to like write down some ideas or even mm -hmm. just think about it. Just have a second where I pause, put myself in a space for 10 minutes and be like, okay, what do I want to do with this video? Yeah. And then I try to, most of the time I'll try to script. Um, vlogs, okay. obviously, it's a whole different animal. Right, right, um, right. Like, like next coaster videos reviews all that stuff i try to do a script and that's probably you, the, when you say try do you always or it, do you, it, sometimes do you just off the top of the head you just record it, you know it it really depends my battle videos i do it right off the top of my head i just okay. feel like it's easier for me to do that but i feel like the reviews they come out better when i script them because there are some details and there are some facts in there that i will forget yeah. if I'm of just course. going off you know of and if i'm yeah. going off the notes it's just gonna take me too long to edit so yeah the only problem with the script that I found, and, and one thing I'm trying to get better at is like, I feel like the script, sometimes it seems scripted when you're yes. listening to it, you're like, okay, he's reading off of something. And it's sometimes it's a little bit more obvious. And so I'm trying to get better, but uh, those people that can just flip on the camera, get in front of it and do a whole review. Like mm -hmm. I commend them that that yeah. is, that is hard because I've tried that. And I'm like, uh, now I'm lost. What do I do? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. You gotta get comfortable with it, I suppose. And how tall is Orion again? <laughs> like, <laughs> there's some people just know facts. <laughs> people just know facts and they can just spit the facts. Yeah. I'm like, I know my stuff just like you know your stuff, but it's like, wait, what was that again? Like, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you'll need a refresher on the uh, oh. some of the details. So, oh, absolutely. that's I where mean, it comes from. I rarely remember a stat on something off the top yeah, of my head. I'm same always RC, RCDB is like my savior. <laughs> Your best I'm friend. Like, I'm literally, I'll have it up on my phone. I'm like, okay, before I release this video, let me just check one more time that these stats, because man, the one time you release a video with the stats wrong, is don't the do, last it. Time you do it. Because man, don't this do it. Community, they know their stuff. They know they they, Oh, it's so out. beautiful. It's, it's, I it's, love it. It's a hardcore community, but it's a very accepting community. Like, yes. again, what you're saying, if you mess up, your first thing is going to be a correction. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it was funny. Again, wow, everything ties into that Z Force video that I'm referring to. <laughs> so I don't know what this it's is. An example but video. It, it, I guess it is. Check it out yeah. if you guys haven't. A flashback look at Z Force, which, by the way, is to me a cool yeah. you know, thing because people, people still don't get what that means. Yep. That's flashback look i'm looking back and yep. plus flashback, flashback was z force at magic mountain people yep. don't so there you guys have it uh yep. <laughs> flashback look at z force and what led to the two worst coasters in six flags over georgia history and then yeah so with that one i spoke on american eagle at the beginning of the the video at uh great no, wait sorry great america yeah yeah great yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, great america and i said at the time uh american eagle was the um the tallest fastest what racing wooden coaster in the world and somebody corrected me and was like no i i specifically said racing and they're like oh sorry i didn't see that i'm like thank you guys for trying to correct me but like i made sure to double check and i listened to the clip again and i was like did i say it no. i said okay oh. good i said racing oh yeah. i know it's it's the scariest thing like sometimes i put out a video i'm like okay I'll know in the first 10 minutes if I said something that, yes. you know, that was <laughs> off. And sure enough, I remember like the video I was so excited about was like I did a, you know, 10 best states. And honestly, that video, there was a lot going on at the time. So I was like editing and doing other things. And like I was just busy and I was just trying yeah. to get that out. And that was the worst mistake I made because it was like just trying to force that content out. So because I wasn't focused and I didn't like re-listen to that project again, 
I mm-hmm. didn't hear the part where I said that the Beast was the longest roller coaster in the world uh. <laughs> instead of the longest wooden coaster, you know? And so yeah. um, I put that out there and the first like three comments were like, Beast is not its, li-. and I was like, oh. Why? And like, I think that's why? what I got it- spam. People were talking about the Beast with me saying about the whole wooden roller coaster. I said racing wooden co- coaster. And uh, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> the Beast always comes yeah, back they- to you. They- they get you, and, and you know what? It was so funny because that video I didn't know how I was gonna do. I was like, "Oh, it might be like yeah. a, a thousand views," you know? and it ended up being like my third most watched video. I'm like, "Oh, my third most watched video is the one I said." It's probably incorrect. your most your your most watch, and also probably people from Alaska hate you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I say that because as you mentioned that it's the worst state to be a coaster enthusiast. Yeah. Can you elaborate as to why? So I this this video was really fun and it was totally different than anything I've done because I wasn't right. really looking at coasters. I was like trying to figure out distance and there was kind of a formula to it, but also it was just like, okay, like where personally, if I had to choose, you know, the best 10, what would I do? And then when I got to that video, it was like, okay, what 10 would I want to avoid? And right. like going in before I started like looking at distances and what theme parks were nearby, I was like, oh, Hawaii is going to be number one. You have to fly everywhere to get there. Mm-hmm. But then I went and looked at Alaska and then I noticed like some of the flights that you had to take, you couldn't even first you had to drive to the nearest airport in alaska because wow, there's yeah. no no roller coasters or at least what i i believe there's zero roller coasters someone will fact check this here <laughs> during yes. alaska let us know. but um, <laughs> but i think when i did the research there's zero there might coasters. be a wacky worm or so right. in yeah. The state. Yeah. Yeah. a mountain yeah. coaster somewhere that we yeah. don't know of. um <laughs> but you have to drive to get to the nearest airport which there isn't like an airport everywhere right so you have to mm-hmm, get there mm-hmm. and then you have to fly like i forget however long it is you have to fly just to get in and to drive is 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 nearly impossible too so yeah. i was like you know what plus i mean there's probably not going to be a, i could see hawaii maybe building a small roller coaster in the future mm-hmm. i could see mm-hmm. it happen yeah alaska i don't know if i see it because you got to understand their their climate is so different like they do have a warm period but they also have a period where they it's dark almost you know for 24 so hours weird. yeah so yeah. it's like how would they you know justify building a, a, a lighting a, a wonderful lighting package for that coaster that or indoor, you know, I think or, we might or indoor, indoor, That's right. indoor yeah. you know, so I, you know, it, there was some different things. I think it was just fun to do, but I yeah. just, I was like, okay, it, honestly, out of the two, I think it would be easier because also I think in Hawaii, like you could, you know, you can fly over to Japan a lot easier. Mm-hmm. So you have some options there, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a close tie. It was a close tie. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so speaking of coasters and obviously we know South Dakota is supposed to get, uh, which is so, so random yeah. still to the second, what, uh, raptor yeah um you made a video recently about a a raptor invasion yeah tell the viewers the listeners a little bit more about (laughs) that what is this should we be afraid of the rap now? Oh, we, <laughs> should, we should be terrified. You know, I mean, the the Six Flags clones are coming back strong. You know oh, what I'm saying? I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I do. You know what? what I yeah, I, I you know what? I love. So it's a little off topic, but like the mm-hmm. Batman clones, I'm so glad that they cloned those because I love Batman the ride. Me I too. I, absolutely, what? it's it's my favorite invert. Sorry, everybody Is it? out there. Wow, I, I just love compact coasters. Okay, and that's so. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like I used to be like on the hype of like okay Batman's the worst of the the BM inverts and all these other but as I started writing more and I was like okay yeah they're longer they have more elements but right the compact you, nature, you hear the street yes. racing yes but but you gotta you gotta <laughs> there, put the there we go <laughs> yes perfect yes. timing <laughs> Okay. Just okay. Go right there. through. That's perfect. But right. no, like I just love the compact nature of that ride, and mm-hmm. I every time I ride it, I fall more in love with Batman the Ride. I just wrote it like I it was at Six Flags St. Louis oh, um, yeah. a couple weeks ago, and I wrote it, and I was like, I just I love this ride, and I'm falling in love with it more and more. But like, I don't think clone rides are a bad thing. I get that if you're someone who travels, yes, it's it's like oh, I would like to have something newer, but. Yeah same time i think as a company decision especially with the raptors that would mm-hmm. be i would love for them to clone go even wonder woman lasso coaster and send it to six yeah. flags st louis i would yeah. be happy with that so and so my listen much- my, my community well it's not fully but a lot of the people that watch my uh over georgia stuff they badly want a rmc raptor and they're just saying like it's funny I did a video uh not too I think last month about coasters 
to Six Flags over Georgia where you would least expect them to be or also coasters that you didn't expect that you might want or something like that. I don't remember the name of yeah. it on there. That video, I had somebody like say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think any of that would happen. Now, what I think they should do is RMC <laughs> Raptor. I'm like, that's like, okay, you're not listening to the idea or the title of this video. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Or right. Madam. Right. Right. <laughs> the video is about something. It, it was based off of theming and also locations where they could put stuff. Yeah. Uh, coasters, which I think was really good. Yeah. And yes, the the I the basic idea would be to put an RMC Raptor where Splash Waterfalls was because it's a dead space area. I get that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> there's other options that could happen. And you could have a skyrocket too there. Yeah. There's so many things you could do. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it was yeah. funny because everybody wants a raptor. It's fun. It's I get it. I get it. But do, so I guess they want to know. Yeah. Do you think do you think Over Georgia could get a raptor? I definitely do. I think you know, Over Georgia's in a spot where, mm -hmm. you know, no parks have a raptor currently. You know, a lot of places don't have it, but I, I yeah. don't see, you know carowinds really getting a raptor i don't really see dollywood going that route i think they'll get something grander i mean they had that survey that went out and a raptor wasn't listed now things change but i just mm -hmm. don't see them getting a raptor and then you know maybe yeah i maybe bush garden sea world parks maybe they might invest that direction but they're i mean it, I they're such a toss-up they're such yeah. a toss-up it's hard to and i almost put them in the yeah. video but it's yeah. not like who knows we don't even I, know if they're gonna go I you felt, know i felt a certain type of way though with the six flags change park though because there's only one park what that has two rmcs yeah yeah so i'm saying it's yep. it's an rmc coaster so i i don't think like certain parks that aren't the biggest are going to be the second to get it yeah. so uh yeah. i'm not downplaying my home park but i'm just saying i don't right. think it's going to be the you know the next park to get it it could happen right um, i I don't think it is but, either. I, I think that mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'm probably yeah. more down the line because I think definitely Magic Mountain is probably the next in line and I could see didn't we hear rumors about that though? Yeah. And see yeah. like and supposedly think, track work about like an RMC raptor coming there or whatever. I don't know. So yeah. but that's what we hear in the community. You know what's so funny? It's and those rumors too, it's like, you know, I will say one thing, because I've actually followed coaster rumors for a long time. Like before, like I said, before I was even writing them, when I was like 12, yeah. I used to get on little forums and be like, what's well, coming <laughs> yeah. to the park parks, right? But like nowadays, blueprints are found so easily. I'm like, where you are these? Search for are? everything, yes. I mean, it's like it's almost not even fun anymore because I'm like, man, I kind of wanted to go through the whole teasing process, yeah. you know. It's but, fun. Yeah. It's it's fun to go through the teasing process, but also it's it's cool to also see the the um, blueprints as well. But they also don't pan out. I mean, King's Dominion, we all thought mm. a wing coaster was going there because blueprints leaked, and then now yeah. all of a sudden we see a forty free track showing up. People you know? <laughs> are so pissed off about that. It's oh, so oh, <laughs> I get it, but it's so like they really just went the opposite direction. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? People are already mad because they were getting a wing coaster, right? Like they were like, "Oh, not a short wing coaster. This is gonna be crap." And then it, <laughs> then they even got it. That's to why you need to just be thankful for what you were going to get. I'm rumored, like, yeah. I'm like, I'm at a park where if they said a 4D free spin was coming, I'd be excited. I'd be like, "Yes, finally, we're getting something." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's one of those things. I love Six Flags St. Louis because there there's a lot of nostalgia there because that's where I kind of grew up. My first theme park, my first rides, all, every all of my firsts are there. I've been grow, I pretty much grew up at that park. You know what, the third uh, ever Six Flags park. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's a lot, and you know I've I've grown to love that park, but I also can see how people think that way because I've I like I'm one of those I don't even eat at my home park because it just like the lines for food the yeah, quality okay, I'm just like, I understand that yeah you know I'm kind of like okay well there's there's a KFC down the road I'm just gonna <laughs> get my hands <laughs> to go to KFC. Right, right. Okay, so I, I listen I get all the gripes about it I also like if I was traveling to Six Flags St. Louis would I think differently because it's one thing to it be down the street I'm not really yeah. spending a lot of money to go I can right. go however long I want to and be done with it and keep making repeat trips whereas someone who is making it out of like a vacation out of it I can a totally... destination for thrills yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Segways, man. Yes. 
But I can see that if you're making it part of your vacation, I can see where you can be a little disappointed. And a lot of people don't, like when I watch YouTube videos, a lot of people don't go to Six Flags St. Louis at its best. And that's nighttime. It's that's mm -hmm. when honestly that park is the best because boss is okay during the day. I mean, it's yeah. nothing that throws me, but man, you put that thing at night and it's my favorite coaster there. The Screaming Eagle also really great at night as well. And so I think people don't, a lot of vloggers don't visit the park when it's at its peak. You know, I saw airtime thrills go and I totally agreed with everything he said in yeah. that video. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I was also one of those. I was like, yeah, I totally agree with you. But when you write it at night, it's different. Again, well, I feel that a lot of people, a lot of vloggers, content creators don't go to that part. Like I, I've searched it and I don't I see I find you. Yeah. I find um, I think Ides of March or uh, yeah. Yeah. I, um, um, and then also, I've seen uh, somebody else. Show, do show me code. There's a show me coasters okay. and he does Missouri yeah. coaster content. He does a lot of good um, six flag Santa stuff as well. Um, but yeah, you know what? It's, it doesn't bother me. And, and also people hate on my home park. It, it's, it's not one there where I have like my heart and it's so bad. I yeah. think that's something that a lot of people like in the coaster community need to like chill on sometimes. It's, I, I love that people are passionate, yeah. but you know, when I'm saying something about your home park that may not be positive, it's, I'm not attacking yes. you. <laughs> Correct. Not attacking but people are like, that's a part of me. Yes. Yes. Which, yeah. you know, I'm so glad that people are that passionate about it, though, because it's that passion that really drives this community and it drives, you know, people wanting to watch our videos and people mm -hmm. wanting to go to the park. And I'm, I'm just as passionate. I mean, and sometimes when people say something about Six Flags St. Louis, I'm like, is that true? But at the same yeah. time, it's, it's, you know, it's someone's perspective and that's never going to match up with everyone else. But how do you feel about seeing videos on your park? Like a vlogger goes to your park. I, uh, do you watch it? Yes. Or do you just, you're like, I know everything about that part. I'm not really going to try and see it. So that's funny. I'm glad that you said it. So I actually only watch YouTube videos on like parks that I've been to minus like some of your Six Flags Over Georgia stuff and some mm -hmm. of like other parks, like if I get really interested because yeah. I want it to kind of be a surprise when mm. I go to that park for the first time. So when I watch a vlog on it, I feel like I, I've kind of been there. It's not the same, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. But you kind of get to, you hear stuff that you won't get to, like, experience for the first time. So, like, I went to Kennywood this year, stayed away from anything Kennywood, and I was, like, blown away because I didn't really know much. I knew the coasters that were there. Yeah. yeah. Besides that, I didn't know much. And so when I walked in and, like, seeing, taking in when you're going into that parking lot, I don't know if you've been to Kennywood. Um, I have but, not. Okay, so not. when you pull up in the parking lot, it's across the street. First of all, yes. I had no clue where I was going, so that yeah. vlog is hilarious because I'm like, ah, I don't know where I'm going. I've just, yeah, I've just seen vlogs and I've seen the layout, the full layout of it, so yeah. I've ruined it for myself. Yeah, but yeah. but I haven't been myself yet. Yeah, so it's it, but it's one of those. It's like if I watch it, then I feel like I've I've known it. And I, I like that feeling of the first time going and like seeing it and experience. It's the same way with roller coasters. I yeah. try to stay like, and that's what is hard to do prediction videos because. Mm -hmm. When you're doing a reaction video, you kind of need to know about that new roller coaster that's coming yes. out. And so, like, <laughs> I've been trying to stay away from all of the Velociraptor videos. I mean, I've seen some. Did you at least see the trailer thing of how it I, looks? I, I did, looks and so I'm good. so I know. I'm like, oh, I'm like your first what? visit. Your first. I know, visit. I do. I, like, I was already wanting to go to Universal, and I'm not. Yeah. To, it, this, people are gonna laugh at this, but I'm not a big movies person, so that's okay. kind of like probably the reason why I haven't been there is because i'm not gonna be there I'm like oh this movie this movie you know right. but you know as being like a, a main roller coaster fan to see that velociraptor because that that thing the, the things that i have the seen theming and then just the coaster itself oh like i i, I kind of cut off uh some of the video when they show it because i don't want to ruin it for myself yeah um i'm i'll just say this i'll be there opening day oh it could be 14 hours <laughs> i will bring be the there. record Yes. You might. You know what you should do? You should just have people come down and then host the podcast live from the actual queue. I'm I'm so down for this. Like <laughs> you think they'll let you take like your equipment and everything? <laughs> you would have that special permission, yeah. but well, yeah, right. we, we we would have to do it in another way. But yeah. there are other things I want to do with the queue. Uh, yeah. Post pandemic or whatever. Um, I would like to do this originally in person. To be honest yeah. with you, yeah. Uh, whether it be like um, somehow at the park or where we all travel somewhere for a coaster enthusiast event and maybe from the hotel and yeah. do it. But this is obviously good for now. Yeah. Um, but later on, I want to do 
the queue in person. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's but, awesome. Uh, yeah, your first trip will be a good one for uh you yeah. so if that's gonna be your first, yeah, yes. it's gonna be really good. I'm hoping next year, you know, it's so funny, like planning stuff right now is just so tough. Like yeah. And it's kind of throw me, it's funny, like I've actually kind of been in a funk with making content. I mm. think I've only released like two videos in the past month. And that's because yeah. it's like, I, I filmed all my stuff at Kennywood and yeah. Kings Island and I did the videos yeah. I want to do. There's still some stuff I got, but there's right. stuff that I'm waiting until January to kind of put out. Right. And so now that I'm in this in-between, you know, I was going to fill this with a lot of other content, but mm -hmm. like you said in the beginning, trips got canceled. Yeah. Um, we didn't really have like an announcement season, which is like Not something I built all. August, I built out August and September to be reactions and announcements, and yeah. I had to completely audible and be like, okay, got to come up with a new strategy. We only got, what, Silverwood? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I was really hoping, like, I made a video. It's, it's, you yeah. know how sometimes you make a video and you're like, man, that did not go out. Well, I, mean, I did this video about Six Flags 2021. Of course. And, and, I think you know, everybody I did, but I saw everybody doing, and I was like, I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to just focus on my own park, and it did good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, that's so, smart. I, I not spoke about a power splash coming, uh, power splash coming uh, to yeah. over Georgia, and I broke out all the details of how it could happen. And then people were like, "When's the announcement?" And I put out like great details and calendars of when do oh, no. when does Six Flags usually announce? And then I was like, yeah. "Wait a minute, it was a leap year this year, which would change the announcement before Labor Day." Um. And then it happened. And then Six Flags did make an announcement on that day. It was about holiday in the park. Yeah. Yeah. So you got hey partial partial right. And I still think that 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 could that could happen, man. Yeah. It's so funny. I actually do want to do a Six Flags over Georgia next coaster video. Um mm. I was hoping to visit this year actually for my first time cuz I've never been to Six Flags over Georgia. And I will take you on a grand tour. Listen, when I come in town, I'm yeah. definitely letting you know because yeah. I, I love meeting someone who it's their home park because I just feel like you get you almost get like a VIP tour. You know, oh, you saying? will. And plus, I'm I'm super passionate about the history and the present and the future. Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's what. Yeah, I love meeting people where it's their home park because I feel like like you said, you just get the whole you get to I know agree. things about the park that you didn't know as a first timer. And so it's yeah. really cool to get that as your first experience. So yeah, of course I'll, I'll be hitting you up along that and you should probably yeah. follow me all the way down to Florida for my first universal trip too. <laughs> I am super down for that. I, for, right, we gotta I, make it happen. Let's do it. Let's, let's, hope, let's hope that this, you know, it's, it's so funny. Like going back to what I was saying about planning, it's like, yeah, with everything going on and, and there's still a lot of uncertainty for next year. You know, my hope, you know, being a positive person that I try to be, my hope mm -hmm. is like, Oh, we're going to be, you know, obviously a new normal, not going to yeah. be straight, but as long as it's, um, you know, something as long as it's open pretty much, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and we're able to get a decent amount of people in there. Um, and, and I can actually plan a trip without worrying about like, is it going to close? Am I going to, you know, yeah. am I going to be able to, you know, do I have to make a reservation or can I just yeah, show up? The yeah. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that you had to plan this year, but I will say the parks that I did go to did a mm -hmm. fantastic job. I think, um, I mean, my Kings Island trip actually felt Besides, you know, obviously the distancing and the wearing masks, obviously yeah. that's an obvious thing, but there was no extra hassle in the getting in the park. Like Correct. the way they do temperature stuff, even Six Flags, I mean. There's it, the temperature thing. You're walking just straight through. Yeah, there, there, is, yeah. there is no extra hassle with it, mm -hmm. you know. And so besides the reservations, masks and stuff, I mean, it felt like a normal trip to me. Correct. The only thing yeah. that sucked, I didn't feel comfortable inviting a whole bunch of people with me because I'm like, yeah. okay. It's one of those it, things where, yeah. On the last episode of the queue, when I uh, had brother Tim on in the queue, um, he mentioned he doesn't like, which I agree, uh, the atmosphere of um, having people around and engaging with others, say, in the queue. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you're distance um, uh, yeah. and all that stuff. And you got to worry about, oh, that person's too close or this or that. Um, it takes a little bit away from it. But as you might have seen, a lot of theme parks are upping their capacity again. Yeah. And it's it's weird. Yeah. But I miss it. But I yeah. I, I always say I always put this out first. My pre-pandemic mindset misses it. Yeah. But then like thinking of what's going on, it, it's just weird. They're no longer at 25%. They're definitely going up to like yeah. 
30 to 45 or whatever percent now yeah yeah and it's a tough thing to manage and it's a, it's like like you said you had the theme park enthusiast in me mm -hmm. wants to be like yes let's let's go let's get everything open but then you know you have the serious health situation that you're dealing yeah. with at the same time yeah. that we all have to be mindful of and know that you know it's 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 still here you know yeah uh, sure. and so you know until we figure out a way to operate which i again i think the the parks i've been to have done a great job if we can find a way to operate and, and still make it safe mm -hmm. um and and 2021 is able to roll then that'll yeah. be nice but it's hard to make plans for and this is usually the time of year i'm like okay all of yeah yeah because yeah, like, we we would have somewhat of announcements like you mentioned we might not have opening days announced right. Right. but we'll have a idea based off a of history of when they might open because a lot of stuff they at least give you spring summer opening it's usually spring or summer and not really fall but spring or summer but what i will say though 2020 was supposed to be a great year for not just roller coaster enthusiasts but theme park enthusiasts because again at disney you had um uh the star wars ride open yes. Uh, yeah. Rise of the Resistance, and then yeah. you had uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. You had like world class dark rides to open. Then also coaster enthusiasts, you had that. But what I will say for roller coaster enthusiasts, 2021 will now be better than what 2020 was supposed to be because you had a little more announcements. Plus, all those coasters that were going to happen got postponed. Then you you tack on the Velocity Coaster. Yeah. Then you tack on Tron at disney's magic kingdom their whole motorbike coaster which at nighttime if you haven't seen what i think it's i'm gonna yeah. be butchered for this but i think shanghai disney i, I think uh, i think you're right now yeah, we'll both get uh, butchered because i you know yes I <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, sure. shanghai disneyland um they already have it there um uh, it looks incredible so yeah. i made a video i think last week two weeks ago about all the coasters coming um in 2021 why we should still be excited that it might be the best year for roller coaster enthusiasts uh, in the United States in the past four years, yeah. maybe. So yeah. um, I don't know. I think it's going to be really great if we all can make it out. But I, like I told my uh, subscribers, my my community, that um, I'm going to try and get out there as much as possible yeah. because I like to vlog and yeah. I don't know. I like to make it happen. But Same, um, yeah. yeah, it's it's one of those things. And like you said, there, and I kind of had to look at it like in the past week because I, I told you I was kind of like in a rut where I was like, okay, what content to make? I don't have my announcement season stuff. I'm waiting for this other content to do. I'm like, I was kind of like, I, and then the motivation, whenever you're kind of like not able to go to theme parks and you're yeah. not able to play, you're kind of like, you know, not to say that you start getting petered out on um, theme park stuff, yeah. but like I have other competing passions as well that I'm like, start get seeming more interesting and, I'm, and mm -hmm. theme parks start kind of like coming over here and so yeah. it's weird when you have a youtube channel with like a, a decent small following then you're like okay i can't just abandon no. this but i'm just really not in the mood to make a video right now about mm -hmm. it and so i kind of had to sit there and be like okay it's kind of a negative way to think about it so how can i think of it positively right. and i started researching like projects that are coming up and i was like there's a lot of really good projects there are a yeah. lot Especially so even if you can't yeah, oh, that's true too. I didn't even touch on that. I was yeah. just saying the states, but overseas, right. they're still trucking on a lot of things. So, I mean, for real. Movie Park Germany is putting out some kind of Intamin uh, multi dimension coaster. I was like, multi dimension from Intamin. I was like, what? The, with launches, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is crazy. You know, you got the the uh, Mac Extreme Spinner coming to. I think it, I forget which park it's going to, but. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of started looking at this and I was like, you know what? I like researching all this stuff got me interested again. I'm like, okay, perfect video. So the, hopefully the next video that comes out before this <laughs> podcast, which yes. maybe it probably won't, it'll probably be delayed a little bit, but yeah. um, I'm hoping to do one of like most anticipated projects coming and, and just do worldwide because I think that's the kind of videos and content that will like spark me. And it's really interesting. Like, and I don't know if you see this with your community as well. It's like, mm -hmm. you don't realize how much you're, uh, the people who watch your video and your subscribers, mm -hmm. like how much of your video actually kind of impacts them. I've had people comment saying they they bought passes because of a video I did. And yeah, I was kind of like, sure. what? Like, yeah. like you bought a pass, you made a decision based off a of video. I was like, That's I don't think I'll go to the park. Ooh, um, um, yeah. The, pre, uh, even pre-pandemic or even with the pandemic. Ooh, it doesn't look like yeah. um, it's a good time. Oh, what's the best time to go? Uh, or should I still, I don't know. Some people are like, I'll just go next year when no masks are required and, 
uh, I'll just watch your videos. And I'm like, pretty amazing. Or yeah. other people who will just watch. Um, and then I influence them to go to the park yeah. and stuff. So yeah. But it's, it's yeah. so cool to see that. But also it's kind of like, man, you, it really like, that, it makes you kind of like, next time you make a video, you're like, okay, people are actually like taking this information. This isn't nor just me just putting a video out anymore. Like yeah. people are actually taking this information. I've had tell me like oh i you know didn't even know much about silver dollar city until i started watching your videos and now i made my first trip to go there or people saying nice. i made my first trip because i saw your video yeah. and i absolutely loved it and i'm like whoa like that <laughs> it's crazy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um it it's amazing how you can impact people and that's the biggest thing that i was saying was um when the everything started shutting down during this pandemic i made a video about uh, some changes that were happening. But at the beginning, I made a statement that said, uh, I'll do everything in my power to get, um, provide entertainment so people can escape for 10 minutes or whatever to add a smile to your face. And I, I really felt proud that I was able to do it. Of course, I got a little burnt out after three months or so, but it was it was fun and I built I grew a lot and all that stuff and met a lot of wonderful people and saw a lot of other content, including yourself. Um so yeah, it was like for everybody, you know, hard times, a trial, but uh, as far as making content, uh it was a pleasure to like and it is a pleasure still to add uh a piece of happiness and enjoyment yeah. to people's lives. Cause again, a lot of people don't watch TV. They don't have cable. Uh, they just have YouTube for free and they just watch your stuff. So it's a good thing. That's why I love, uh, you know, my community yeah. passholder family, uh, shout out to you all as always, you guys are very supportive and all that stuff. So yeah, but I have to ask though, where did the name destination thrills come from? How did you get that? Ooh, okay. And also how awesome is it? Because it's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad you think it's awesome. So it's this is actually a really funny story on how I got the name. So I originally mm -hmm. started doing YouTube videos, and actually I started an Instagram account. That's how my first introduction to roller coaster social media was. I got interested wow. in seeing Instagram, and I never even had my personal Instagram account, but I started seeing coaster uh, yeah. pictures, and I was like, "Oh, this is like a yeah. cool idea. I can just take photos. I love taking photos." So I was like, "I can just take photos and post yeah. it to Instagram." So I was under the username eight hundred eight coaster rider, and um, like eight hundred eight was tied to my zip or not the zip code, but the area code in Hawaii. So it was yeah. 808 Coaster Rida. And um, I used to post there back in 2017, just posted pictures there. And it, it actually got a decent following. And I was yeah, like, you know what? I, I do a YouTube video. Thought I've seen that. Some people say they have. I'm like, I can't. I was like, that's so long ago. People Seriously. Yeah. And, wow. and you, I did YouTube with that name as well. So I actually okay. started to, I think back in 2017, and I was just putting like random stuff. It was yeah. low quality. I, think I still have some of the videos <laughs> up there. I, right. like, I need to take them out. They have like copyrighted music sometimes. I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of that before I get demonetized, you know? Of course. But, um, but it's, you know, that's kind of how I started. Mm -hmm. And I knew eventually when it started to kind of take off and get bigger, or, or I, I, I saw potential in it. And I was yeah. like, okay, I, this could go bigger. But I was like, 808 Coaster Rida isn't really like a, a name for a brand. It's kind of like yeah. your, your your typical Instagram, Twitter user tag, right? Yeah. So for, in May of 2018, I'll never forget this. I was just laying in bed. It was like one in the morning and it's just mm -hmm. one of those nights. I don't know if you go through this, but I have nights where I just, my brain is just going. Same. And going. Yeah. Going. That's actually just, how somewhat of my name thing, which I'll get into in a second. But right. yes. Okay. Yeah. So that, it'll be funny if it's along the same lines because yeah. it just started going and all of a sudden I was like, I need to, I was like, I need to come up with a new name. And I was like, for some reason, Destination Thrills hit me. And I was like, oh yeah, that that's it. Destination yeah. Thrills. And I was like, I need to look it up right now and make sure. So at one in the morning, I get up. I had work the next morning at seven in the yes. morning. Yeah. And so I, I got up, got to the computer. So I created the account, switched all my accounts that evening. And then the logo came to my mind immediately. I was like, yeah. it needs to be bright green and needs to do this. And I just started working hard on the logo. I was up why, until like why green? and just did it all in one night. Okay, so it's funny. A volleyball team that, um, so one of my other passions is volleyball. Actually, that's yeah. a bigger passion than roller coaster. A lot of people know, know this, but I've been playing volleyball since mm -hmm. I was six. So I'm super passionate yeah. about that. Sports in general. And you're a big sports guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. but volleyball has been one. It's big in Hawaii and I just fell in love with the sport and I've been playing it ever since. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, so it, it was one of those things where it was like, I don't know, I was doing videos like for that before, but now I wanted to do videos for like roller coaster stuff. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 So um, it, 
Interesting. So this this brings me to my next thing I want to know is what is your biggest struggle as a creator? Ooh. Content creator. You know, and it's something I ask everybody you know, in the queue. There is there is a lot of struggles. <laughs> um, I think the main struggle right now is consistency. I think mm. for me, I want to have. I a agree, consistent- actually with it i want to have a consistent upload schedule i think it's just it's better for your fans to know when you're going to upload they can expect a video like i think airtime thrills is killing it right now because he gets his video dale and i were talking about that on the first episode of the queue is like monday wednesday or monday thursday Thursday. Mm -hmm. no one airtime throws uploading a video and he's always on time with it you know it's it's he's so consistent and and that helps because man i know when his videos are going to be there and also i think youtube like always pushes his content that day like because yeah the algorithm working for him yeah and that's another thing too that's the one thing i will say is fun about youtube is the strategy behind it there Mm. i love i I love analyzing stuff and like i dive into analytics all the time and i could do a whole video talking about analytics and how obsessed i can be yeah and but sometimes they can they can that would be another struggle is is not getting lost in your analytics because i think Mm, it's so easy to look at it and be like why does that video not perform well and then get discouraged you know or why is you know why is my views going down or, or or just all that stuff and so like I don't know that that I would put that as a struggle too is just like getting lost in your animal it makes it fun too because you kind of like it's that planning part like ooh like like I was saying earlier about like IAPA I was like okay people are going to be interested in new stuff in yes. December January so that's when I should start rolling out the next coaster series um, or it's weird I I'm, I'm I plan when my videos will come up because. I don't want it to interfere with something else. Like I have video ideas that I want to do now, but I'm like, mm, I can't till November and December. I can't that I want to drop right now. But for me, I do a lot of stuff that has to tie into the now. Like uh, I would love to do a lot of stuff, which I do dabble in what coaster YouTubers do by making coaster videos. But I do stuff that's in the now for theme parks. So for example, right now it's Halloween season. You're going to see a lot of fall festival and Halloween stuff. Yep on the channel and then next you're gonna see christmas stuff but I, some people again coaster content or whatever you guys can just put up something right now and it'll hit but i i'm like i'm going to wait to do something when it's a dead season so yeah. when the park closes um at the end of the season that's when i'll drop those videos yeah but I, it's it's all strategic and yeah. it's also it works because I'll be doing a lot of vlogging right now and those really pop off. So yeah. it works well, for me. But I, there's other things I want to do right now too. Yeah, well, and I I totally understand too. And like, if you were to film a you know Halloween vlog, obviously, if you drop that in January, it's gonna probably not perform as well because people not at you, all. People, you're also got to go with what people are searching. What's hot right, right now? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So um, that was kind of like the whole purpose of like the Raptor video. I was like, okay, we uh, just had sure. stunt announcement. Yeah. I said, yep, or yep. I, I see people talking about Raptors, and I'm generally interested in Raptors right now. So let's let's do a video with that. And Perfect. so yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so that that part is is I will say is fun. The str- yes. strategic. And it's then when you're like, okay, now I have to make the video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, the idea is gold. It's amazing. Wait a minute. Now I gotta record and I just keep I'm messing like, up and then get it right. Well, and <laughs> but what is your favorite type of video to make? Ooh, okay. This is a good question. So my favorite, it, it really goes back and forth. So my favorite okay. ones to do are the vlogs, actually. They're the wow. ones that don't do all. They don't do any, it. I love them because they're the ones I'm going to watch 10, 20 years from now. You yeah. know, I'm gonna be like, oh, remember that my first visit at Kennywood and now I have it documented. That's you true. know, and so it's, I love doing those. They're so much fun to make because it's, it's just, by nothing- the way, with your Kennywood one which was your most recent uh, vlog, your video on Project 412 of Kennywood was your first video to reach over a thousand views. Yes, yes. Yeah. I know it's weird. That, it's and, weird oh how... I, I wouldn't even oh. go back and watch that because yeah. <laughs> the audio was so bad. It, it wasn't the greatest, but yeah. <laughs> Here's what I tell you. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, let's look, mm-hmm. look, look, look at the segue. Yeah. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, you can seriously start it with anything. I started with just an iPhone. And, you know, wow. I say just an iPhone. Not everyone obviously is privileged enough <laughs> to have an iPhone. So I accept that. But like, yeah, so better, yeah, it's better that you correct that now before yeah. you get roasted in the comments yeah, again. Right, right. Right. But, but like, I think, think like you, 
you don't have to have the best camera, the, you know, the best, you don't have to be super talented when it comes to voiceovers. You just got to be passionate about something. And I think you can start it. I I get a lot of questions. You do have to know something. You can't just put it, or you're definitely going to get roasted. (laughs) (laughs) And you have to have some sort of editing and you have to do, you have to do something nice to it, but you can start it. It's, I always say just start. Like if you're passionate about it and you're not doing it, I always say like, if you're doing it, record, just get out Mm -hmm. now. If I didn't, record my first video which was trash (laughs) i can say that it was it was absolutely trash if i didn't record that first video i wouldn't be where i'm at now with my subscribers Mm. because i would have still had that fear of starting and so you need that to get over that fear of starting and then you need people to come on and be like hey your your audio needs to be better and those criticisms actually help build the channel and it's all these critiques that i've received over the years of doing videos have actually been what has made my videos better the the encouragement has kept me going but the criticism yeah. has what has mm. led me to level up. And so okay. like if you're talking about starting a YouTube video, I mean, or a channel, I say go for it. You don't, you don't have a lot of people I think they're like, well, do I need what do I need to start it? I'm like, you just need to record. Like you something saying, to record with, and then you don't even need a webcam because depending on if you're just doing a voiceover thing. And it doesn't have to be it, perfect. Yeah. I mean, no. I'm still like video and like i go back to it and it's like i can't i can only listen to it for probably about a minute before i'm like yeah, okay I gotta yeah. this is my ears are hurting, you know? right. um but like people still enjoy that video you know mm-hmm. and people were like oh they're interested so you, you know it's, yeah. it's 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 humbling also to go back and, and, and yeah see that. i i get it i get it. i definitely understand that what is your favorite video that you've ever made Ooh, okay i would have to say uh, probably the one that like got me the most excited when I was done. And I was like, when I finished, I was like, I cannot wait to put this out. It's so good when you have a video like that, by the way. You know it. When you when you have the idea and then you execute it, you're like, this one's going to just Oh, do I it. get butter. Like, yeah. It's one of those where it's like, I'll schedule it for the next morning. I'm like, I just want to release it now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, with you. Oh, that feeling is the greatest feeling as a yeah. content creator. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is worse than the opposite when you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm just throwing this out there. And I don't yeah. Know how good. That's true. <laughs> I that. <laughs> it's true. But, yeah. But, I would but say what the, video was that? The the video it was uh the Mystic River Falls my first ever ride vlog. I just I remember being so excited filming it, so excited yeah. doing it and then riding it. I would just remember all the excitement mine and I got home and I was like I got to make the video now. Like I'm so passionate and excited about it. Yeah. And when I put it, it together, showed released, in the vlog too. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that's when I watched it I was like and you know I I like to throw some corny things in my vlog. So I people are like oh that was so corny. Like it's on purpose. Like you know, I don't take my so serious enough but it's even those little things in there that i throw i was like oh this is this is funny to me this is great and i just it's one of those videos i know that if i go to watch a video when i'm like looking back you know 30 years from now i'm like oh i remember i did that destination throws channel you know yeah. i will look back and, and watch that video and be like oh okay. that's a good time so that that's that's definitely my favorite video out there all right that works i like that a lot i like yeah. that if you were going to create another youtube channel that wasn't about roller coasters or anything you've spoken about, so sports, volleyball, anything like that, nothing. What would that second channel be about? Okay, so I've actually contemplated this in the last week. I have been... Dang it, you're the first person to actually have thought about this. <laughs> I did my research. I watched your... <laughs> okay. I knew it was well, happening. I appreciate that you have a past thing, that you watched the queue and listened to it. So, yeah, go ahead. I'll be, this is honest. I'm not just saying this because I'm honest, mm-hmm. but I, I thoroughly have enjoyed the, these series and I'm, I'm very interested to see like the other creators that you have coming. And yeah. I've been introduced to creators that I, I didn't even hear of. And I was like, Oh, yeah. I gotta check them out. So I, 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 I think it's great. I, I'm kind Thank of, you. I, I love, I really, I again, it's a passion project. It's been yeah. nice to humanize uh, the content creator for you all to get to know uh, the person. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's great, and so it's, it's honestly, it's led me to find other people, which I appreciate as well. Thank but, you, thank you. And the cool uh, thing is too, which I always say, and I'm going to say it again in a second at the end. <laughs> it's also on audio, so you can listen. So if you're working, at work, working from home, at school, at the gym, driving, you can listen to the audio po- uh, podcast on SoundCloud. So uh, you could just listen, and you don't have yeah. to watch. Long road trip to your yeah. next theme park. Which I actually, oh, that's true. Which I actually feel like the best version of this show is actually just audio. Really? Yeah, I do. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I haven't. So I'll have to look it up on audio because I literally like YouTube's my life as far not oh, even yeah, just free, yeah. but like like watching. And so like that's yeah. like you said. But people who don't like do cable, like I'm one of those people. Like YouTube yeah. is my entertainment. And so like I'll just when I'm working, how I've done with your podcast is I'll turn it on, put it kind yeah. of on the side, work, and then yeah. like it's it's so nice to have something that you can like listen to. Yeah. And like engage with while still being able to work that's and true stuff like that. that's so i like that too yeah. and that's the beauty of podcasts and that's yes. why we are in the queue so yes yeah, we're in the queue. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, on another tangent now <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's it's very that? organic and real and natural yeah, yeah. but oh we we're talking about a channel that i would start so yes. i've been really obsessed with pokemon go again i don't know why i, I was super into it when it came out and then it's like same. Pokemon has caught fire again. It keeps happening. I don't, I don't know what. Okay, so I was one of those two when it first came out. I was obsessed, and then and you know what's so funny is like I wasn't one that watched the Pokemon series. I never really played. I, oh, I was I, like, oh, I gotta get home. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I was never that, but like the idea of a fact that a, a video game on your phone knows where you're at. And the engagement, it's weird, of it. but yes, it's weird. Yes. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yeah, but it is so cool. And so I, I fell in love with just the Pokemon Go game, and then you know, just like everyone else, it, it's a fad; it dies off. And so it kind of died remember off. Remember how me. big it was when oh it came out? Was it like, 2016. Cars I think. were like, I'd be at the park, and everyone's just like walking around like this. <laughs> Incredible! It was like I awesome. remember walking through the city in Atlanta, and there were groups. And you're just like, what is going on? How are we all in sequence doing the same thing but apart? Yes. It was, but then people weird. started getting into trouble, like yes. uh, trespassing, because there was like a rare Pokemon over there on the side of the fence. And it's like, I gotta get, get over there. You gotta catch them all, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but, yeah, but it's so, back. Yeah, you know, and it's one of those. So, and, and another phrase story is like, I switched my phone plan. Um, yeah. And so I didn't have unlimited data. And that thing, like, just goes oh, through your data. So, yeah. I recently switched because of the channel. I recently yeah. switched to Unlimited so I could do more stuff while I'm okay, at theme nice. park. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, I can get Pokemon Go again. And so like three weeks ago, I got it. My brother has been playing it still. And he kind of okay. got me back. And now I've just been like addicted the last couple of weeks. And I'm like so, just super into it. So your I'm, like, second I, channel would be Pokemon Go Pokemon related. Pokemon Go. And there's so much content. Like I've been watching so much Pokemon yeah. Go. And it's fun i'm like oh i could totally do that but i was like man it's if i try to, too late <laughs> i'm too late but man if i i'm already spread thin if i try to yeah. do that destination thrills might be a once a month video channel. Your, your subscribers are like don't do it we need more content he's already not uploading enough i will say i have yeah. thought and i don't think it would go well for my channel which is why i haven't done it but i've thought about like playing pokemon go at a theme park and be like here's what like i'm doing a vlog of like hey Pokemon Go at Six Flags St. Louis. Now, my worry about it is that I'll attract a crowd of like people who are like Pokemon yeah. Go owners who don't care about theme parks. They're gonna be like, "Oh, I don't care about his channel," but that video was cool. Yeah. And then my parkers are gonna be like, "I don't care about Pokemon Go. I'm not watching." Okay, so, that's true. Okay, so it's a win mean, lose lose win. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I won't. I won't. You know, put my resources <laughs> in that. But I would definitely like if I was starting a YouTube channel today. Oh, it would be Pokemon Go related. Okay, all right, that sure. works. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's that's a good answer. That's a good answer. And it's cool you thought about that in advance. You knew it was coming by listening to previous. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew it. Was and I, you know yeah. what's so funny is like I've actually literally been thinking about it the last <laughs> week or so, and yeah. so yeah. I was like. Oh, I was like, oh, I know exactly. When I saw you asking, they're like, I asked everyone this. I was like, oh, I know exactly what. Boo! I get it. Get a sw <laughs> this is going to be the first question now for whoever's the next guest. So yes. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lastly, though, what is your favorite food to eat at a theme park? Ooh, what is my favorite food to eat? Okay, it is without a doubt, and I didn't, I didn't plan this one out ahead of time. I promise. But hundred percent. It's like the cheeseburger yeah, at like, JB oh, Sports Bar. <laughs> <No. laughs> yes, uh, but no, it is cinnamon bread at Silver Dollar City. I didn't even need to think of that one. That is so good. Did you see my vlog from Dollywood? The no. last one. No, I gotta check it out. Why? Did you have well, a bad first trip? of all? Shame on you for not. Right. Uh, second of all, <laughs> no, I did um, full research. No. Okay. <laughs> I tried the cinnamon bread for the first time. What for the first time? First time. I've only been to uh, Dollywood twice. Okay. okay. Yeah. In June, I didn't do it, and everybody roasted me for not trying it. Uh, and then I, I finally did. Incredible. Then I found out. I just put up a vlog. Well, at the time of recording this, three days ago, 
about uh, Stone Mountain Park, their pumpkin festival. Guys, check that out if you haven't. Uh, it's owned by Hershen Family Entertainment. They had the cinnamon bread, and it's down the street from me. So I'm like, I can eat this literally yeah. 30 minutes away. Now you get it. That's a bad thing because yeah. I'm always going to get it now. But it's incredible. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I will say. I get the hype. Yeah. I made the worst mistake though. So my last trip to Silver Dollar City, I ate like yeah. a full thing of barbecue, and then we went and did cinnamon bread after, and we rode Time Traveler. And I've never ever in my life felt sick on a roller coaster. That yeah. was the first time because that was the worst mistake. Uh, and they I give actually, you a hefty portion of food when they give you food, so I get that. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So it, it's <laughs> yeah. I, that was a bad mistake, but usually it's, it's never a, a bad choice. I would just suggest don't eat it right before you get on a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 that that makes a lot of sense that really does but it is so good and i'm i'm glad i don't i don't know if that's my favorite but i'm glad that's your favorite that's a good yeah. one that's well good now one. i gotta ask okay you probably said it in past keys but just for this one like what what is your favorite theme park food i don't think anybody's ever asked me oh good wow. exclusive <laughs> Wow, most guests, you guys have been selfish and not asked anything about me. I have a feel I'm in the queue too. I, yeah. I have thoughts. Now, conversation. Um, <laughs> my favorite food at a theme park, uh, I I don't think I remember it, but um it's something at Disney. Disney does oh, food. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but I'll say at my park, it's like the barbecue boneless wings uh and spiral fries at jb sports bar and oh, grill. yeah i'll probably say that yeah, but i believe i think that's the name of ours in a six flag st louis yeah and yep, yeah yep. they that's probably the one place i will eat at six flag st louis yeah so <laughs> that, that is absolutely yeah, i can totally see that. yeah yeah all right i believe it's finally here the train has arrived and we're about to finally get on the voyage and guess what it's a yes. night ride it's a night ride <sighs> the trains are off right <laughs> <laughs> the trims are all they're way off <laughs> finally good, i get good. experience it uh last question for you where are we sitting oh so most people would sit in the back okay. but i love the front very front seat because i feel like you can't see anything in front of you and okay. you're just you're at the mercy just, of the coaster just going with it so going. i like that i like yeah, that very front seat wow okay well uh front seat it is okay um i think i've only had one person like yeah, everybody, it, it flips. I think it's been pretty even. Yeah. Front, back, front, back. Okay. All. And then Brother Tim, the last guest on the queue, he's pretty tall. He's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so he was like fourth row because it's, it gives the most space on the Hulk. I didn't know that. No, so that, really? That's pretty cool. It has the most leg room right there. Oh. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. I like that, though. But um, with that being said, make oh. sure you guys subscribe and make sure you subscribe and check out destination thrills over on youtube also all the links will be down in the description down below for youtube on uh, soundcloud soundcloud youtube and also here on youtube on the screen as well i want to say thank you so much for being a very very special guest here uh, in the queue it's it's been a lot of fun people don't know there's a lot of laughter behind the scenes that oh. they don't see <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. It was really great. A great time in the queue. Oh, absolutely. You you know, it's been a pleasure to be on here. And I just, I, you've got such a great personality as well. So I, I knew this was going to be a fun thing to do. So I would, I would love to do it again sometime. I will definitely have you back. Um, it's going to be a great time. We got, I want to do a big one where we have a lot of people yeah. around here. A lot of enthused, oh. uh, a mini reunion of what has happened. Maybe by the time we get to 10 or so, we're close. So, good idea. That's yeah, a good idea. There we go. Um, but with that being said, that'll do it for us tonight in the queue. Everybody, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.